side note, Jennifer Aniston is sporting a see-through shirt. Got it in the see more section. Don't ever say I didn't do nothing for you. I'm not really a big fan of Jennifer Aniston, but she does have some nice titties. And I think you can see her nipples. So go see those. And then on another side note, I have some pretty hot pictures of some female golfers um, that you can take a look at. I have that also in the Show Me More section. Just click down there and check it out. You'll see a whole bunch of hot female golfers. They're pretty much bikini clad and, you know, holding golf clubs, titties, and ass, and juicy bits for you. It's great, man. You should check it out. It's very relaxing and humbling, especially after that horrible bank fiasco I just did. Okay, so basically the Congressional Black Caucus is saying, caucus, the Congressional Black Caucus is saying that Barack Obama is not paying any attention to the black issues or the fact that blacks are pretty much the lowest on the totem pole when it comes to jobs in America. They're saying basically that there's an economic crisis that has never been worse. It was pretty much the same back when they were slavery. That's how horrible things are right now in the black community. They're citing Obama as saying that we need to shake it off. The black community needs to shake it off and step up and press on. Their main argument is, how do you shake off poverty? Like, how do you just, uh, I, I'm, I'm hungry. Uh, sandwich. You ain't gonna die. They also go on to say that when it comes to gay rights, where the homosexuals wanted to have the don't ask, don't tell thing repealed, they were Johnny on the spot with that. And the Latins with the immigration rules. They're Johnny on the spot with that. But when it comes to the amount of black people that are suffering in the ghettos because the amount of jobs that were there are no longer there and it's harder for them to move out of that community to get to other communities where there's better jobs, these people are just suffering. But they basically say they're going to continue to press the president to do more and hopefully more Good things will come out for not just black people, but for everyone. Because right now, everyone's in an economic crisis. Wow, this has been a real uplifting disaster piece theater, hasn't it? You know me, all about the yuck yucks. Okay, so here's another story that pretty much disgusted the shit out of me. A woman is going to jail after all she did was lie to send her kids to a better school. She just wanted her kids to get a better education. She was a single mother. And now she's convicted of two felonies and is charged with grand theft. How is she charged with grand theft? What is she steal? An education for her children? Now she was working at trying to be a teacher herself. Now she's got two felonies on the record. She may not be able to be a teacher. Now granted, I understand that kids in subpar neighborhoods are going to get subpar education. I understand that. But what does that say about us as people? So just because they're poor, it's okay if they get a worse education? Or should we strive? to push all schools and all school districts to be the best they can, period. All the money that we spend on all kind of bullshit that really doesn't help anyone, it basically goes into the pockets of these of these huge company owners, when instead we should be focusing on our kids and our children, getting them more intelligent and attuned to what's going on in the world so that they can make something of themselves. I mean, even if it's something like, you can send your kid to another school district if you pay more. I'm sure some parents would opt for that option. But to say that your kid can't go to this school because you live in this certain neighborhood which does not allow them to go to this school, it's out of the question. That's It just, it just seems like you're trying to segregate the education between the, the different levels of poverty and non-poverty. These, these horrible people in the bowels of our society. Well, they never got a chance. They got crappy education because they lived in the bowels of our society. No one ever raised their school up to a level so that everyone could get a good education. Not every parent has the ability to get their kid a good education. The kids shouldn't suffer because of that. And that's something our government should take a look at. But our government has a very long track record of dropping the ball all over the place and not really mandating things correctly, so... What do we expect? For my last story, elderly people have been complaining that there's an age bias now. They can't find work. They don't have any money saved up, some of them, and they can't make ends meet in order to take care of themselves. A lot of people are saying that when it comes to the workforce, the elderly have no place because they're feeble and they wobble, they hit things with their cars, and they stink, 
They fall down a lot and they smell like pee and they can't get stuff right. They ramble for long periods of time with terrible breath and they have horrible skin and flakes of it fall off and their hair looks like hay and cotton candy. You just want to... I mean, but the harsh reality is, is that their age is a factor in them not being hired. So what do we do? There's so many crises on so many fronts. We don't know what the hell to do anymore. We don't. We can't find jobs. We can't do this. The elderly's sick and dying. The young don't have a place to work. It's all falling apart. It's it's, it's going to collapse at some point. I mean, there's no one is making out anywhere except a few people at the top of the corporation scale and top behind these banks and businesses. They're the ones making out. The rest of us are just. Waiting. We're biding our time before this entire thing collapses. And total anarchy ensues. It's sad. I'm going to be here making videos. You'll be watching. I hope so. As they beat you over the head and take your computer out. It's like, no, nah, I just want to see what is my boy this. He's going, ah! Just, you know what I'm saying? I just, hopefully you do that. As you shoot them in the face with your non-existent pistols because they take them away too. Um, well, that's been Disaster Beast Theater, even though it's been a sad one, it's been a, a, a dull one, a very, very macabre Disaster Beast Theater this time, but I'm not just a funny guy, I like to inform you of stuff too, so if you didn't laugh, if you didn't have a good time watching this one, suck my balls, but I'll see you again on the next Disaster Beast Theater, thanks for coming, I'm Disaster, peace. Black Caucus is saying caucus.